It was a crisp, cold winter day on the island of Sobe. Snow lay thick on the ground. The engines were working extra hard. James was pulling the slow goods train. He had stopped at a signal. Percy pulled up alongside, carrying the mail. Hello, James, said Percy. Then the signal changed to green. Goodbye, James, whistled Percy, and he was off in a flash. I was here first, grumbled James. Why do I have to wait? The mail train is more important than slow goods, said his driver. Later, when James stopped for water, Thomas was already in front of him. I have to go first, said Thomas excitedly. I am a guaranteed connection. Everyone has a more important job than me, grumbled James. Nonsense, said Thomas. Everyone knows you're a really useful engine. But James wanted to be an important engine, too. Later that day, Sir Topham Hatt came to see James. You must take coal to all the stations on the island, he boomed. If the fires in the waiting room go out, the passengers will get cold and complain. It is a very important job, he added. You can rely on me, sir, said James proudly. Sir Topham Hatt left. James was excited. An important job, he said happily. Phew, sniffed Gordon. It's only a load of coal after all. Nonsense, snorted James. I am going to keep the passengers warm. What could be more important than that? And he wished over to the water tower. But there was a line at the water tank. Come on! he steamed impatiently. I have an important job to do. Wait your turn, bossy boiler, said Thomas. James felt too important to wait, so he didn't. James rushed to the coaling station. He met Edward waiting at a junction. Edward was looking bothered. He had too many jobs and he was feeling puffed out. Can you take these slate cars to the quarry, Edward asked. Sorry, Edward, but I can't, puffed James. I've got the most important job on the island. And he chuffed grandly away. James arrived at the coaling station. He buffered up to the coal cars and was on his way. James was looking forward to delivering his coal. Now I'm useful and important, he chuffed happily. Then there was trouble. James puffed harder and harder. He went faster and faster. And then he began to feel hotter and hotter. I don't feel well, wailed James. And he had to stop. Your water tanks have run dry, his driver told him. We'll have to wait for help. Just then, Edward pulled up beside James. Please push me to the water tank, pleaded James. I'm sorry, Edward puffed sadly. You wouldn't take my freight cars to the quarry, and now I'm running late with my passenger train. And Edward steamed away. Edward stopped and told the signalman all about James. The signalman telephoned for help, and soon Salty was on his way. He pulled up alongside James. Why didn't you fill up with water this morning, matey? James told him about the line at the water tank. I've heard you were too busy to help Edward too, said Salty. I was in a hurry, protested James. Mine is the most important job on the island. No job is more important than helping another engine, said Salty firmly. And deep down in his boiler, James knew Salty was right. Thanks to Salty, James's water tank was soon filled and he was well on his way. 
He knew he had to make up for lost time. Then James saw Diesel up ahead. He had broken down and looked unhappy. James wanted to tease him, but then he remembered what Salty had said. No job is more important than helping another engine, he said to himself. And even Diesel is an engine. Come on, Diesel. I'll push you back to the sheds. Pushing diesel and pulling freight cars was hard work. At last, James got diesel to the repair yard, but he still had to deliver his coal. The wind blew, and it was getting colder by the minute. James steamed all over the island, delivering coal to the station waiting rooms. Everyone was pleased to see James. Thanks to him, they were all kept toasty warm. The next morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to see James. He knew all about him running out of water and his not helping with Edward's trucks. I'm sorry, sir, said James. I put my own job first. But you did learn your lesson, and you helped Diesel, Sir Topham Hatt boomed cheerfully. And you delivered your coal on time. You, James, are a really useful engine. James nearly burst with pride. Thank you, sir, he said. Being really useful was better than feeling important.